Hello friends, let's talk about using Blender tutorials in Beaver Artists. First let's point out that we in Beaver Artists have the same features than in Blender. It is one of the development goals to stay compatible. So every Blender tutorial around a feature like a node space tutorial or to create a shader should also work in Beaver Artists, since it is the same features. Well, if it would be this easy, then we wouldn't talk about it here. There are of course some pitfalls. We simply differ in the UI and the handling. That's the reason for the fog. So all Blender tutorials about the UI and the handling will of course not work in Beaver Artists. We have a different key map and we have a different UI. And so you will run into problems with Blender tutorials where the maker uses this different UI and handling. Well, the key map problem isn't this dramatic as it looks like, because our key map once evolved from the Blender key map, and so most of the hotkeys are still valid. One of the key differences is that we have optimized the UI to work with the graphical UI, and that's why we have removed nearly all hotkeys that cause a submenu under the mouse. One example here is the apply menu. Control A because we have this content here already, here in the header, here are the apply buttons. And also here in the sidebar, apply. This is the same content again. So you can choose either here, you can pin this, and then it stays here at the top. You can use this one. So we don't have a need for this hotkey, control A. And now Control A is free to use for you as a user as a custom hotkey. Another hotkey pitfall is the context menu. You will in tutorials very often see somebody access the so-called context menu. This one here. Well, we have in Beaver Artists bound the right mouse button to the navigation so that you can navigate completely with the mouse without pressing a hotkey. And so the right mouse button is as you can see, occupied. So we have found the solution to use a double right mouse button click and then you can open the context menu also here. The UI problem that we have some things at other locations isn't this dramatic as it looks like. Lots of things that we have added are in fact just added and the original Blender part is still intact. Like with these tabs here at the left, the original menus here at the top are still there. Or this toolbar here at the top. This here exists to make your life easier. To have a fast method to add, for example, cubes. Because this way is way more cumbersome. So when you hide away these components. Also this one can be hidden away. And then let's go, for example, into the references. And also make the theme the blender theme then you have nearly no difference to blender here this looks now as close to blender as it can some tools and options are of course not longer at their original place since we have optimized the ui but the very most things are we have the same layout we have here an outliner here a properties editor here the 3d view the same tools, and in big parts, the same workflow. So when you, for example, have a tutorial about bones or shaders or the new geometry nodes, this will generally work the same in Before Artists and in Blender. Of course, with some cave ads here and there, where you might need to stop watching the tutorial first and figure out how to do this and that in Before Artists. We are simply not Blender. But in general, nearly every Blender feature tutorial can also be followed with Beaver Artists. Where it starts to get complicated is when you have a tutorial that heavily relies on hotkeys and just presents a big list of what keys he has pressed. Yes, we know them all. Press this hotkey, press that hotkey. And then you see something like this. And ta-da! Geometry is done. I would not recommend to use such 
tutorials at all. This fast that even at Blender you have a hard time to follow the advice and best with a hard to understand dialect and with low quality voice samples. This is unfortunately the bigger part out there. My advice is leave them immediately. Makes no sense, you waste your time. But even for this case we have a workaround. Simply switch to the Blender key map. This can be done here in the key map. Blender. And now you can use all the Blender hotkeys also in B for Artists. So switch to the Blender key map, follow the advice, understand what is going on, and then switch back. But for the most tutorials, the B for Artists key map is good enough. As told, the B for Artists key map is not this dramatically different. Hotkey I for Records keyframes, for example, still exists here in B for Artists. In case you are unsure, have a look here at the important hotkeys tool. This shows you the most important hotkeys directly into the viewport. My main advice is, of course, that you first learn the basics of B for Artists before you touch a Blender tutorial. They can be found here. Quick start learning videos. They are made for B for Artists 2, but are still valid in B for Artists 3. And once you understood the concept, the navigation hotkeys in Blender tutorials will not irritate you this much anymore. At the end, some good news. In B for Artists, you don't need this much tutorials as in Blender. We have descriptive and working tooltips, like for example here in the AutoSmooth. We explain what the tool is, what the tool does, and in this case, how to use it. You need the shading set to smooth. Self-explaining. Conclusion. It is very possible to use Blender tutorials with B for Artists. It is in fact what we recommend. We simply don't have the manpower to write all the Blender tutorials for B for Artists too. But what I also recommend before even starting is, as told, have to have a look at our quick start learning tutorials. And in case you nevertheless get stuck, we have a very helpful Discord community. Thanks for watching and have lots of fun with the Blender tutorials.